They thunder across the plains in an endless march of hooves and horns. For decades, the Great Migration has been billed as nature's largest show with an audience of predators, tourists, and now satellites. Traditionally, scientists estimated 1.3 million wildebeest on the move. But a new study using artificial intelligence and high-resolution satellite imagery suggests the true number may be much smaller. So it happens on an annual cycle and they're following the rains essentially. So the, the rains is providing more nutrient-rich grass and so they're following the grasslands. Um, so where the food is, they follow. Um, and it happens to be in this in this circular uh, pattern that they move and then they, they tend to breed in the south and then they move up and cross the border between Kenya and Tanzania. Researchers train two deep learning models, UNET and YOLO, to scan thousands of images pixel by pixel. So we were quite surprised at our findings. So the, the estimate from manned aircraft survey is 1.3 million. Um, and in neither year, because we uh, conducted the study over two years, did we find more than 600,000. The lower figure doesn't necessarily mean a collapse. Scientists say if your wildebeest may simply reflect natural shifts or errors in older aerial surveys. We don't think that there's been a population collapse necessarily because we would find carcasses, you know, scattered across the landscape, which is not the case. Um, but perhaps the number has has dropped um, naturally, as well as there being some discrepancy in the previous counts. To prove it, researchers want to compare aircraft and satellite counts side by side, testing which method offers the clearer picture. But what we ideally want to do now is compare a manned aircraft count with a satellite count in the same area at the same time and then we can work out the kind of relative bias errors of the different approaches. Counting is not easy. Satellite images generate mountains of data. That is where AI comes in, automating the tedious task of spotting each wildebeest. The problem with uh, using satellite imagery is that it's um, it's a huge amount of data, so to manually count the, the animals and the imagery is quite tedious. So we can use the power of deep learning. Both of these tools have come online at the same time. Um, and so in this study, we use two models. We use um, a pixel-based model and an object-based model, um, so UNET and YOLO, um, to count the wildebeest in the satellite imagery. For now, the wildebeest remains a moving mystery, counted by hoofbeats on the ground, eyes in the sky, and algorithms in the cloud. The Great Migration is still great, just maybe not as crowded as we thought. Ian Kinua, CGTN.